Welcome to the Scott Sports Show. On today's show, we, we will have the soccer team coming in with head coach Gary Kagiavis, Danielle Chadden, and Alex Root. Chadden is coming off a two-goal two performance against Millersville, a team she beat in overtime last year with a game-winning goal. We also have the volleyball team with head coach Missy Sobolewski and Sierra Jackson, the red-hot freshman that made immediate contributions to the team. And finally, we had the football team with offensive line coach Jack Corey and offensive lineman RJ Hughes. Find out what went wrong and what actually went right in last week's loss to Westchester. All here on the Scott Sports Show. Welcome back to the Scott Sports Show. We are now joined with the soccer team, head coach Gary Kagiavis, Alex Root, and Danielle Chatton. How are you guys doing today? Good. good, thank you. Okay, so a lot to talk about. Uh, last two games, very good games for you guys. Uh, we'll go straight to the other one. Danielle, two goals, one within the first minute of the game, it seemed like. What was going on for you that, uh, last Saturday? Um, I mean, I was. I heard like a lot of things about this game. Like, they were a tough team. They were like best competition we had last year. One of them, and so I mean, I was really excited for the game and very pumped that it happened so soon. I wasn't expecting it. And then, how does it feel for all of you to get the first win in Sox Harrison this season? Usually, we uh, usually we don't lose at home too often. Um, it's just been kind of uh, a challenge with the games going straight in and so many freshmen and stuff like that. Just to mention on Danielle, she also got the game winner against Millersville last year um, in overtime. So she's, I think she kind of likes playing them. <laughs> uh, same for you guys. I mean, the first one of the year in Sox Harrison, how's it feel? Good. <laughs> Our family's never been there, so it's good. Yeah. Finally win there. And so Alex, uh, defense has been playing very well all season, but these last two games, only two goals given up. Uh, how do you feel that you've done your defensive part so far? Um, it's been an interesting year so far just because our defense has been our first time all playing in the back um, together. Me, it's my first time as a defender overall. Um, so it's just been kind of a learning process, and I think it's finally kind of starting to click for all of us together. And I think just giving it all I have. So I <laughs> and so, Danielle, you've played 295 minutes so far this season in six games. How can you keep up that intensity all year, being conditioned enough to last a whole season? Um, well, I mean, coming in over the summer is the most important part, I think. You have to condition all the time and be ready for preseason. And I was just coming off of an injury of last year, so like I had to do like double what I did last year, just all, and then like in between games practices, it's just recovery now during the season. Pro probably, if you ask, probably if you ask Danielle, she hasn't played enough minutes. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And so we talked about earlier in the season, Coach, uh, a lot of freshmen on the team. How do you feel? Well, first off, me and uh, Tubby have talked about how you had this quote that you said, the good thing about freshmen is they turn into sophomores. And that stuck with us a lot. We, we really, really liked that quote. And we've used it uh, numerous times now. But how do you think they have changed right now from the first game of the year to now the seventh game of the year tomorrow? Well, the, 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 the league itself is very, very competitive. And so you've got to... There's no time to waste, really, to be honest, as far as uh, their development goes, and they just have to pick stuff up as it goes along. And as you can see, now they're contributing more and more, and they're figuring out the, the level of uh, play, and you know, they're picking up stuff at practices. And so I, I think the future is going to be bright with this class. Um, some are coming along a little bit quicker, but as you saw, the, one of our freshmen scored, assisted by another freshman. Um, and, and so I think uh, we're on a good thing. We've got a lot of good players. And, uh, most of it is, is due to their hard work and, and willingness to, to give what the team needs. I just want to expand on Alex's, uh, uh, about the defense. Mm -hmm. um, Alex is a converted forward. Colleen is a converted um, center midfielder. Um, Maggie is a freshman. Marissa is a freshman. Sarah has been doing yeoman's work, playing off her line a lot. I don't know if you've been watching, mm -hmm. but not many teams play like that. So we've been fortunate that of their willingness to play that way for us and playing positions that they're not used to playing and um, and really helping us along just to try and get some results so it's a it's a team effort that's really an um, it really may be some of our best stuff we've done in all the years that we've had success here and so robert wesley coming in this wednesday how do you guys feel about that game the reason I'm a bit late is because I was getting a scan report. That's okay. <laughs> That's a good thing to be late. Yeah, yeah. We, um, we, I, I think, well, Robert Swayze has been a good program for many, many years. Um, Alex has had an opportunity to play against them. They had a national team player the last time she played. Um, they do have several international kids. Um, 
They, they, they always wear very well organized. Um, it's, a, it's a really good program. Even though their record is one and four, they've lost against St. Rose, which is a national powerhouse. They've lost against um, some of the better teams in the country. And so uh, their record's deceiving. They, they've gone out of oh, Bridgeport's another top program in the country that they lost to. So uh, their record's deceiving. But I think it's going to be a great game. I think, we, um, I think we're going to be ready. I, I think my kids are ready to play. And you know, I think they'll show up and play. I, um, I'm counting on it anyway. That, that's good here. Um, don't go anywhere. You are watching the Scott Sports Show. Welcome back to the Scott Sports Show. I'm now joined with the volleyball team head coach, Missy Sobolewski and Sierra Jackson. Jackson, how are you guys doing today? Good. Great. All right, so we'll start off with... Uh, you guys have a lot of youth on the team this season that we've noticed. Ten and one start. How has your team gelled together so quickly? Um, you know, you, you just kind of get lucky. I mean, you, you hope that your team were to gel and you do those ton of kind of team bonding things in the beginning of the year. And, um, and then it just comes down to just training and how advanced your freshmen are that are coming in um, and how much of a learning curve that they have. Uh, we have a group of freshmen that came in that have played at a pretty high level and um, learning curve wasn't quite as big for them to be able to get on the court and contribute right away. So I mean, it's been very nice um, and you just never know. We just kind of got lucky this year. And Sierra, you're a freshman yourself. What was it like coming in for your first year at Edinburgh? Um, a little nervous, not really knowing what to expect. Um, I guess I expected to hope to gel with a bunch of other freshmen, but you know, hoping to get a lot of leadership from the upperclassmen, um, just hoping to really kind of learn and a lot of things that I didn't learn in high school. Um, of course, getting better in my career. And so you've gotten off to a far, fast start for your Edinburgh career, 139, 36 kills and 149 points overall. Were you expecting to make such contributions so early? Um, no. <laughs> um, I don't know if anybody really expects to get playing time like their freshman year. Um, I was really just hoping to learn more, I guess, gain more experience. Not really, especially as a, a right side and not as an outside, it's really something different and something new that was a really good surprise. And so you guys have been playing pretty much all uh, outside of conference opponents. Now you're getting into PSAC play. How does the game plan change? Um, it, <clears throat> honestly, it really doesn't. Um, we just prepare to be the best we can be. Um, always training on the um, the details of the game and the process of the game and, and trying to really focus on the basics because if we do the basics well, um, do even down to the way we move on the court, if we do those things the right way um, and the process starts off right, then usually the ending has a chance of ending right. So um, we're just going to take it day by day, match by match, and we have UPJ first and we're, we'll attack them and then Saturday move on to, to IUP or to uh, Lockhaven. But, it's just one game at a time. It doesn't matter what opponent it is. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Don't stop watching the Scott Sports Show. Welcome back to the Scott Sports Show. We are now joined with offensive line coach uh, Jack Corey and offensive lineman RJ Hughes. I mean, guys, how do you feel about this week now uh, coming off of a loss to Westchester in Westchester? What does it mean for your team moving on? Uh, moving on, um, I think it was a great building experience. Uh, we got some young guys in the game. We got some young guys that um, made their first away trip. Um, Got to know the process of playing college football and being on the road and things like that. Um, and, and I think there's a lot of positives in it that we, could, we can build from. And so you talk about building, and there were positives we, we talked about before the show. The offensive line did a, did a great job uh, giving Walter Fletcher 147 yards and also only giving up one sack. I believe in the game two. also, too. Yeah, and so that is a positive moving forward. But we, we talked about Everything that could have gone wrong in this last game actually did go wrong. Uh, mistakes on special teams, defense, and offense all around. Uh, how do you? What went wrong with the game plan in that sense? And how do you go from um, there? I think you know the focus was 
was lost early. Um, there were some things that didn't go our way, um, and people kind of tried to overcompensate some of the players, um, trying to go outside of their job and, and, and do a little more than they should have. Um, you know, it happened quick. You know, they had a really long drive on the, their first possession, um, and then a touchdown. Um, we fielded the kick um, out of bounds, which we could have gotten a penalty on that. And um, instead, we start our drive at the nine yard line and end up fumbling two plays later. Um, so, like you said, everything that could have gone wrong really went wrong real quick. Mm -hmm. um, but I think our, our team showed some fight and showed some resilience and um, played well in the second half um, and really stuck to the game plan and, and were able to execute. And uh, you mentioned the second half and adjusting. Now that we got the, past the negatives, what are some positives you, you two saw from the game? Uh, like I said, the positives would be the, the, the fight back in the, in the second half and being able to go out and execute and, and not have as many mental errors and um, uh, little mistakes that end up costing us big. Uh, and building upon this is what, what, what we've been talking about. Going into IUP this next week and uh, a very hard IUP team that was at the top of the West last year, how do you guys prepare for that game? Uh, we prepare like every other week. Um, we really feel like we're the only team that really can stop us is us. Um, you know, when we have mental breakdowns and mental errors and, and, and don't pay attention to the details and do little things and um, take care of the football, um, that's the only really re thing that's going to slow us down, um, we believe, especially on offense. And then RJ, uh, going into this week, same question to you. How can you improve on last week's uh, outcome? Um, definitely just try and uh, get the guys going. Uh, refocus. I think this loss definitely served as a refocusing point for our team. Um, just help us come together a little bit more through this loss. Yeah. And so that does it here. Uh, don't go anywhere. You're watching the Scott Sports Show. That's all for the Scott Sports Show. Don't miss any of the action right here on campus. Watch the Scott Spore Show every Wednesday right here on Edinburgh Now.